to allow you a little more time over there to dance. Oh, are you ready? Yeah, might as well. Sweet. Let's go. Ryan, I want to tell you something today. Okay. I, I don't know if you knew this already. I think I've mentioned this on the show. But I fucking love Jason Statham. I just wanted to tell you that. <laughs> yeah, you're one of your boys. One of my guys. Yeah, you, uh, Statham and uh, The Rock. And The Rock. Yeah. But really? Well, who would you, what if both of them approached you and just said... Oh, my God. It'd become a bidding war? Would it become, would it become financial? Like... The Rock's like I got uh, you know one million, and Statham's like no. I'll go one million five. I, I think, I think the accent from Jason Statham would probably push him over the I edge. Think I think he's number one. I thought I could have sworn it would be The Rock, but yeah. go ahead. All right, so you love Statham. Love me some Jason Statham. Okay. Okay. Is that is that all you wanted to say? That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> but I've got another headline for you. Oh, okay. So, um, unfortunately, it's not from Florida. <laughs> But you could argue that it might be. So anyway, uh, the the art or the headline is morgue assistant uses testicles from corpses to help win annual spaghetti cook-off. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Don't tell me like the testicles are meatballs or some shit. So <laughs> There's I, more. Okay, I there's, wrote down some there's, of the there's actually uh, some content. Yeah, I wrote headline. down a couple. Well, no, not really content, but I love some of the uh, comments. It says, "I wonder how they found out that she used uh, testy balls, is what they called it, instead of meatballs." Do so you think oh, she bragged God. about it and got busted, or someone knew the so, taste and was like, "There's only one way to get that taste." That's testy so, balls. Someone's like, "This is not a meatball. This, this is, is a, a human testicle." This is a human testicle. Ball. I know. I know for a fact. One, uh, of course, Josh Wolf. This is where I got it from. My boy Josh Wolf. I think someone asked her for the secret recipe. Said, "Don't you mean um, bologna ballones?" Ha ha! I see what you did there. Mm. Um, <laughs> that was that was so stupid. Go ahead. <laughs> ent- entering the rest, <laughs> entering that recipe in a contest took balls. <laughs> oh, I like that. That one was way better. Uh, that was so, way better. And then the last one, of course, is well. Thank God it wasn't the annual hot dog eating contest. <laughs> uh, this is not a hot dog. I know for a fact. Uh, right. This is a real penis. <laughs> so yep, that was some fun. Uh, yeah, so, I love that headline. So let me ask you, I thought, how does this tie into Jason Statham? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> so I just, yeah, I just so to you just wanted there. to bring Jason Statham up. Hey, I don't know. I just wanted to oh, change okay. things up, throw I, you a curveball. Hey, no, my mistake. If you want to talk about Jason Statham, we can't. I just thought that your headline... Has something to do with Jason yeah, Statham. Yeah, you were just letting me, you're just reminding me. I'm just reminding you. How, how uh, amazing that man is. Yeah, amazing man. He's pretty cool. I don't think I've seen everything he's been in. But I've seen enough to know, yeah. who, you know. He's a, he's kind of the same character. In it's each like movie. the rough, yeah. the rough, uh, British or Australian. Yeah. Which one is it? One of the two. Sure. <laughs> That's another American stereotype. He, we always just who cares? British, Australia. It's the same thing. He was actually God. I can't remember the name of the movie, so I probably shouldn't even tell the story. But it was with Melissa McCarthy in it, and she was a spy. And I know what you're talking about. I forget the yeah. name. And he was so he was always there to help her out, but he was right. always pissed off about it. Yeah. But he was always there to help. And, of course, they developed a relationship probably. In no, 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 no. They oh, didn't. They oh, didn't. No. Oh. But he was always there to help. And he, he... But, yeah. No, no, no. Not like a like a real relationship. Like, just a friendship. Oh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. They ended up liking yeah, each yeah. other versus yeah. this annoyance or whatever. So, yeah, yeah. It was pretty funny. He was, he was pretty funny in that. So... That's good. Well, um, happy Saturday to you. Uh, not that it matters when we record these shows, but usually we're not doing them on Saturdays. Today we are, and in case you haven't noticed, Trey is wearing his burnt orange outfit that I always say looks like vomit, but, um, you know, to each his own. And uh, I've got my Texas A&M. Your burnt purple. Sure. <laughs> Shirt on, and uh, we, we're just we're just uh, supporting our teams today on Saturday. Absolutely, and, and, uh, it's college football. It's college college ball. And we get excited, so we said, "Oh, we might as well." He showed up in his shirt. I said, yeah. "We really didn't plan it, though." No, we really did not no. plan this. I just I had it on. So um, there you go. But anybody that doesn't like one of these two teams, still listen because there's a chance we probably like your team too. I don't care if they listen uh, if they don't like it long. Or how about how about. <laughs> 
<laughs> How about you let us know who you like, and we can uh, give some shout outs, and we'll uh, can we do some more betting? We can remove followers, right? We can remove them. So, okay. like, yeah, I mean, for example, I'm just going to say it right now. If you're an Ohio State fan, I'm going to remove you. You're done. Yeah. No, let's not say that because we have some Ohio people. Do we? Yeah. Uh, just kidding. Uh, I think they have a good game going on uh, right now with Notre Dame. So that's uh, two good schools playing each other. But there's just a good vibe to Saturdays. I just love it in the fall. Although today was hot. I um, It was it was very warm. Yeah. I, I had a... If, <laughs> Anybody that's seen the movie Old School? Yeah, I have. I'm sure you have. Yeah. Will Ferrell, Vince Vaughn. Classic, right? Right. There's this, <laughs> this scene when he's partying with the college kids and he's doing the, the beer bong. Yeah. And they're like, what are, you, uh, what are you doing tomorrow, this weekend or whatever? And he's got a big day. Go to Home Depot. <laughs> little Bed Bath & Beyond. Little Bed Bath & Beyond. That was Spins me. how the day was. That was me today. You did a little Bed Bath & Beyond? Well, I woke up. And I and I had my my uh, three and a half year old soccer game. Okay. And it was hot as shit. God, he can't, it was he hot. can't just be a three year old. It's three and a half. It's, well, he's almost four. So if I say three, it's misleading. How's it misleading? He's three he's, years he's, old. But he's almost four. Like we don't say I'm forty four and a half. Yes, sometimes people do. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. I don't so ever say that. My three and three quarters old <laughs> child, five eights, had a soccer game today, okay. and, and he's he's a, he's look any any of the other parents uh, listening that on, on our team. Well, look, all the kids are great, but my kid is the best player on the team. <laughs> well, he, of course, he just is. Yeah, and and that doesn't say a lot at this age, of course. But he he knows that he can dribble. He can. He's fast. He's tall. He's just he's just very athletic, and I'm very proud of him. So let me ask you this: Have y'all got a blood test to verify? That? <laughs> no, I mean, well, that's how I knew because okay. he was that good athletically. And so, but his problem, Trey, uh, he'll score a goal, you know, here and there, and he'll go. You know, half of our team they're off wrestling on the sidelines, yeah. and they're, they're, no one gives a shit. Some girls, the girls, it's co-eds, they're picking flowers and shit. yeah. Okay. My son, for some reason, he veers off to the right. Okay, and so. I need to teach him to turn turn back towards the net. So what happens is that somebody eventually will get the ball because there's 16 of them there huddled together. Right. And he gets the ball, and and he gets so upset. I mean, he starts crying. Oh, he just doesn't no. he's, he doesn't want the ball taken right. from him. Right, yeah. If he doesn't score every time... He's upset. He thinks he failed. Oh. And so I'm trying to drill it all week. I was just like, look, that's the point. Everybody's going to try and take the ball. They, we're, that's if, the whole point. And if they do, you did fail. It, it, <laughs> if no? they do... Then you get no uh, dessert, no lollies, right. right? But he 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 gets upset, and, and I've told him all week, go after it, get get the ball back, right? And so he was doing that as much as he could today, but this fucking team had a ringer again, and she was a girl. Uh oh, did she have a mustache? She was so <laughs> she's so fast. <laughs> My kid is so fast, and he he's like. He came up to me. He, I can't catch her. Like, oh, no. She was, that, she was just fast. And oh, that's she would, funny. She wouldn't even kick it in the net. She was dribbling until she was in the net. Oh, know? until she was no, in the she, net. She <laughs> the time she tried to kick it, she missed the whole day. Anyway, she anyway. verified it was so, in the net. I won't go in on anymore about the soccer, but that's what. So I started there with the kids' game. All the parents are it's just so funny. They're all hung over. We're all. It's, it, it, <laughs> everybody's, in the, it's, everybody's in the heat. It's oh, hot as shit. That's hilarious. Everybody. It looks up. It's halftime. Everyone's like, "How much longer?" <laughs> the parents. Is it over yet? And the kids. So the kids are like passed out, <laughs> sideline. It was. It, it was, was hot. Today, it was. Yeah. It was warm, and it was like a, a 11, 11 a.m. I think time, which isn't. It's not too bad. It was like it, it's not terrible, but if it was eight thirty or nine, it'd be better. So anyway, so I go home trying to watch some ball. My my, you know, team was playing, and I'm trying not to fall asleep. And then, yeah, I got I, I go to my wife. I said, "Oh man, I need I needed to go over to uh, the Home Depot or to Lowe's or something. I didn't get some a little DIY uh, mo a mood. I needed to the the, the toilet handle. It, it was all messed up, and it, yeah. I needed to fix it and you know, pretend I knew what I was doing, and get some just some things I've been meaning to get. Right. And I was like, I'll go do that. So I go over there, and and I, and I hate to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and say how much better Lowe's is than Home Depot. Oh, okay. I don't want to get Home Depot pissed off in case they ever want us to promote, <laughs> advertise. I mean, we can change our mind real quick. But but what home what what they need to understand? Yeah, all of a sudden I'll be like, Home Depot's amazing. Home Depot is wonderful. What we Home Depot orange all the time? <laughs> what Home Depot needs to understand 
is they need to take this as as this constructive criticism. There we go. A little wake up call. Because every time I'm in Home Depot, no one offers to help. Everybody's just, it's just blah. It's just, there's a mood there. It's not yeah. clean. I go into Lowe's and, and I swear the birds are chirping and the <laughs> butterflies are going. I had three people help me today and they all made like jokes and shit. Yeah. And they were terrible. Like one guy, <laughs> they were terrible. Like one guy's like, he goes, what, what can I help you with? And he's like this little fat guy. And he was, I mean, a little adorable fat guy. Yeah. And, he, and, he, and he goes, what can I, what are you looking for? I said, well, I'm looking for glue. And he goes, well, that'd be aisle four on the left. And I was like, oh, that's impressive. He goes, don't get stuck there. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Yeah. It took me a second. Yeah. But yeah, and, I got, and don't I, get stuck and there. It took me a second. I, I got about two rows and I go, oh, okay. Oh, I, I got you, back. yeah. And then the other guy was like, I, I said, I decided I'm going to get a cart. So let me set the stuff here. I didn't want you to think I was running out. And he goes, we would have chased you down. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it was just, yeah. even, though how, even though it was so stupid, it was... It was just more, they're more people friendly. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and say Lowe's. Did you hug it out? the one. <laughs> I didn't hug any of them. I was about to. But, but so that was my Saturday. And, and I look, Home Depot, get your shit together. Yeah. I got a Lowe's story. I, you know, I looked over at this helper or employee. Helper. It's like, <laughs> like, excuse me, sir. Can you, can you give me a hand? He turned around. And he was missing an arm. I felt, <laughs> it's like, oh shit. No. So yeah. Mm-mm. <laughs> Yeah, he helped me. Uh, really? Get a that, key sounds made. Like, that sounds like a, a, a joke from a comedian. No, he helped me get a key made. So you seriously, he seriously didn't have an arm, and you said, Can you give me a hand? That's so good. The fact that that's real, because <laughs> Mitch bad. Mitch Hedberg did a joke about that. Really? Goes, not a, that exactly. He, be, he goes, You should never wave at somebody, because what if they don't have a hand? <laughs> <laughs> They'll think you're being cocky. Uh, that, like, look what I, <laughs> look look what what I, I, what I got, motherfucker. Exactly what, what he said. What a bitch. And there's another one where he's like, don't ever compliment somebody uh, that, that has a dimple, because what if they're shot in the face with a BB oh, gun? Oh, shit. <laughs> with a BB gun. Uh, so, Mitch is awesome. I, yeah, I love those one-liners he had, but that's what that reminded me of. But anyway, that was my Saturday. You're showing off. That was my Saturday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you show, look what I got. Oh, shit. So that was my Saturday. You and, can cut um, that out if that was stupid, but anyway, I just... I just thought about that. That wasn't stupid at all. Okay. I don't, I'm, I'm going to leave it in just so people go, why wouldn't Trey say what that? What an asshole. Uh, but that was that was our Saturday or my Saturday. And uh, how was your Saturday? Good. Well, it was uh, wore out. Uh, we had what we call a fight night last night. Oh, is that at, like Fight Club? Uh, no. Oh. Um, well, then who cares? Was, we went. Basically, it's a bunch of schools that meet up, and uh, they just kind of get out on on the floor and start stick sparring and um, stick spar. You told me what the, what was that called again? Escrima. Es- Escrima. <laughs> Escrima. We talked about that. I don't know if those shows are still available. Yeah. Those might be like it's hidden. A scrim a we talked spark. about your stick spar, yeah. and, and they're little. They're like, yeah, probably about two feet, know, about three, yeah, Th- two or three, two or three feet, yeah, and and padded, padded, yeah, they're a little padding. Bullshit. On it. Yeah, I'm not hitting Pussy. real sticks. <laughs> Fuck all that. <laughs> you imagine real like this is the money maker. Like, like tree, now that we've got cameras, this is the money maker. Like tree branches. <laughs> oh God. Okay, so you're sparring with these escrim, escrima sticks? Escrima. 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 Sticks, and, and something called a fight night last night. Fight so everyone night. just rolls up in there. And yeah, so they had, the shit they, yeah, they had the kids, they had adults. Um, kids are pretty funny. You see them bounce around, and they just walk up and just start hitting the shit out of each other. Just bam, 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 bam and they don't realize the point is to <laughs> not kidding. get hit. Kids, yeah, you're getting yeah. kids don't Kids don't want to so, battle with sticks. So then when they went to adults, um, there was a lot of feisty, uh, you know, teenagers, and of course, a lot of the school owners, which are higher degree black belts and stuff like that. And so I had to always make sure and point at I'm only a first degree. This is a teaching moment for you. I always forget there are different levels. Yeah. So, so you're, you're a first degree. I'm a first degree. There was a gentleman there. I can't remember if he was sixth or seventh degree, but he's a a, a master. Uh, and he was throwing all these head Did kicks he be, like, and stuff. Beat the shit out of you? Oh, he could have. He definitely oh, he could have. Oh, yeah. Toying with you. Yeah, he was toying with me. He he would literally come up, and I would see his leg fly up <laughs> next to my head, he and, then, and then he would literally tap me on the head and bring it back down. <laughs> That's almost worse. I think like, I'd rather really? be knocked out. Like at least I got knocked yeah. out. And I was, now you're just making me look. I like told him I said this is a teaching moment. All right. There, yeah. There's no. I, he said I'll get one head kick in at least. Oh. And I was like, okay. <laughs> but you know, you won't know when it's coming. Right. Oh my god. And so it was a lot of fun. Right, I was very time. wore out. It was be- about an hour of just constant 
I mean, we switch partners, boom, yeah. start, start fighting, boom, or sparring, I should say. Um, and then, of course, today was regular class, and yeah. again, sparring, stick sparring. I gotta come watch this. I think I get. I think our viewers would like to see video of Trey. <laughs> I will let you know. I will let you know when the tournament comes. Is up. this a, is this just dudes or is there? Co- or oh yeah, there's there? uh, the women, women there, men there. So women are fighting absolutely. too. Absolutely. Do you absolutely. fight the women? There was. Uh, I mean, a young in lady. The, this day and age, we you gotta. Uh, well, and and I, I think the point of it was to spar people you don't know and just kind of introduce yourself right. and <laughs> have fun and blah blah blah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to smash you in the head with a stick, but right. I, I'm Ryan, by the way. So, well. <laughs> So th- this young lady, uh, she she didn't have a partner. I was like, okay, I'll spar you like that. And my instructor happened to walk by and, and told her, don't go easy on him. Oh. I'm thinking, okay, ha, 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 <laughs> you know. She's good. Next thing you know, I see this stick just flying everywhere. <laughs> and I hear, hey, hey, hey. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> let's calm it down a little bit, <laughs> you know. This visual, you just, ah. Like yeah, I was like, away. whoa. <laughs> like, you know, it was like you, you kind of touch sticks and it's like, all right, go. And next thing you know, she's right in front of me. Bam. I was like. Whoa! Wait a minute. You know, well, anything that you touch sticks on a Friday night, um, I'm a out. win. I'm out. No, I'm no, out. That's, you don't you touch don't sticks. Touch sticks. Yeah. I mean, some people do, and that's great. Yeah, good for them. You just don't tell anybody. So you had a good time at this fight night. Yeah, was, I'm just wore out, and good. then like I said, class today wore yeah. out. So yeah. it just you were getting so your ass kicked by girls. I actually slept in for the first time until about seven thirty mm. this morning. <laughs> Felt good. Good for you. Seven thirty. That's kind of that's my usual. I think. Yeah. That's when the kids kind of start getting feisty. Oh, that's not bad. No, it's not. Trust me. Uh, p- parents with kids, um, any of you that are listening right now are probably yelling because they, I mean, most kids are up, you know, six early. o'clock, yeah. five thirty or six, and my kids are pretty good. I'm running on uh, pre workout right now. So I haven't been, oh. be surprised. I haven't been to the gym in three days. I can tell. Can you tell? <laughs> no, you. It's frustrating. No, you're fine. Because Just... I was hoping to get to the gym today, but I had to go pick up my truck and finally yeah. got my truck back. Good. And, so yeah, so I but I I was wore out, so I was, I was like, you know what, I'm taking the pre workout anyway. Let's yeah. Get some caffeine in me going. So yeah, you've got about another hour and a half with me, and then I'm I'm done. You're <laughs> so yeah, you I'm to, just gonna delay for an hour and a half. Just I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see what happens. <laughs> you wanna see what happens? Hold on. Yeah. Um, what's the worst imaginable thing that you could think could happen to you at a Taco Bell? Ooh, Taco Bell. We're Taco gonna, Bell. We're going to talk about talk, ooh. Taco Bell. Uh, anybody that missed that episode, we, we've done some a couple of Taco Bell stories. I think one of them was a guy that sued Taco Bell. I, don't want, I wonder what happened with that. We need to check that out. He sued because they didn't have enough meat in his one of his items, Mexican pizza or something. What's the word? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. You got me thinking about Taco Bell and now I'm hungry. What yeah. was the question again? What's the worst imaginable thing you could think of? Well, that would happen to you. I like if uh, you know you know what my answer is in two seconds. But, but you don't get enough meat. No, <laughs> no, it's the it's this. The That's bu- usually the bug, my Saturday the night. Bu- the bug thing in, inside. Okay, of the food. so insects or anything something like that. Something that you find okay. in your food that shouldn't be there. That we did a segment bad. on that as well. See, mine would probably be food poisoning. But yeah, that a little story it says a Louisiana woman nearly died. Died. Whoa. Uh, I'm assuming this has to do with Taco Bell. Yes. <laughs> or were you just curious? <laughs> like Jason State. Yeah. A little died. Okay. That, that, was, that, was my, that was the story. Okay. <laughs> she almost died. Let's move on. Um, so a lady almost died. With, okay, go ahead. Um, a Louisiana woman nearly died after a Taco Bell sign. What? Fell on her car in the aftermath of a severe storm passing through. Oh, ma'am. She says, it says the, the woman, unidentified, was waiting to pick up her food in the parking lot of a local Taco Bell when the pole fell on the back end of her car and crushed it completely. Like, like one of the signs that's out front uh, along the main yeah, road? Yeah, the big, big, the big one. Taco, like they're showing this pole and think of the right behind your back seat all the way to the back of the car gone. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm not. So, would you rather find I feel a like bug, I always or laugh. would you rather no, this pole come I, I down on I'd your car? The, I think I take my chance with the pole. I think <laughs> you I, go with the pole. Yeah, a roach in my food or a pole. I'll take the pole. What would? Can you imagine what? Like, she's just like, 
No, she's just waiting. She's just, she, well, she's just waiting for her food. Like, oh, this is great. I'm not my, a worry in the world. Burrito Supreme. I'm ready to roll. That crunch go wrap. Gonna, be I'm going to go watch. You know, there'll be plenty of meat, hopefully. Yeah. Um, we're going to go watch a movie later. And all of a sudden. Boom. What? I don't even. I mean, that uh, that I can't even think about. That. I mean, what? <laughs> your car's just gone. Said uh, said the police said that there was only one person in the car at the time of the accident well, who was good, freed and taken God, to the can, hospital. Can you imagine if she had kids in the back seat? Oh my God! God, you know what I mean. That so my laughter has now ceased. Yeah. So the individual, the, in- the individual, right, okay, was taken out of the car very carefully and miraculously she was not injured. Hmm. Uh, more than uh, what her what. Listen, okay, this is horrible writing. Um, she was miraculously, she was not injured more than what her injuries were. Is that seriously that saying that? Sense, yeah. that? That's worth saying just so that, whoever, what's the name of this writer so we can call this person out? That's really, that. you know what? It's not even the writer's fault, it's the editor's fault. Sorry. I'm not finding that. And Sorry, as a writer, I get And I, I've could, of course could have read that wrong. I don't know, that's also No, I mean, you just but, read it again. Um, but said that she only had a minor uh, gash on her head, no other injuries. Uh, so that that was all. So after all well, what that, hit, what hit her? Um, like it, I mean, obviously it doesn't debris. say. But yeah, but it, yeah, didn't really it, say what got her. A branch, a, yeah. not a branch, a, a, a side of, part of the the glass metal. Yeah, this pole something is of the pole. Huge. Um, but oh, so what happened to the sign? She was actually uh, said that she the. That her mother, who was on her way to pick up her siblings from school, when she stopped for food. So yeah, she was actually on her way to pick up the kids when she stopped for food. Oh man! Can you imagine if it, oh, that would have been horrible if it was the other way around? Well, I guess I'm trying to figure out the angle of of where this came from because if she's if she's in line, you said she's waiting for her food. Yeah, the way the picture looks, it comes straight down the back of the car. Like literally, almost like if you took a knife and cut right down, down the, the car middle in that between driver's seat and passenger seat. No, the uh, other way. The other way between front seat and back seat. Okay, so right down the back, said. right down the back of the front seat and back to the back okay. of the car. So it's like she lost her back seat and trunk. Yes, Man. smushed. I mean, like you can see that everything is like smushed to the ground. What happened to the top of the sign? You're saying this was just the pole. The top, uh, the top of the sign was just, I guess. Beyond, beyond the it, car, it looks like it might even fell off. It's showing anyway. different pictures and stuff. All it shows, I, I guess that I mean, yeah, yeah. Who gives a shit, Ryan? Yeah, this is <laughs> my fucking. God. My questions are really bad right now. This is crazy. What happened to the top of the sign? <laughs> <laughs> who cares? <laughs> this lady almost died. Oh, the, what, the, is the top of the sign okay? They're going to put it right. Are back. they going to replace the sign? Yeah, um. right. <laughs> but how does? God, I don't know. How do you? How does the sign fall? Do, God. Can you imagine the app? I mean, from now from now on, you're sitting there waiting. Uh, <laughs> do you just uh, Uber Eats now? <laughs> Fuck that. I'll pay that six ninety nine delivery fee. I mean, you see, a, I mean, you're driving by any sign. Can you imagine yeah. any sign? It's like shit. You're every stoplight. You're like, Fuck, you know, it's oh. like our lady that had the snake fall out of the sky. I mean, just that's just craziness. Dude, that's yeah. That's well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm one of those guys that sometimes I go, sometimes I say things like, oh, it's meant to be, or, you know, this happened, the whole this happened for a reason bullshit right. or whatever, and if if this had been a few minutes earlier or later, we talked about that a little bit, yeah. uh, you know, what would have happened differently in life? Well, I don't know what what this one is. It's kind of like if, if she had gotten there two minutes earlier, she's away, she got her food, got the kids, everything's yeah. great, but two minutes before... What about the car behind her? Was like Jesus, like I could, that could have been me. You think her meal was comped after that? <laughs> Free Taco Bell after that? No, they probably blamed like a third party sign vendor yeah. or something. Like, like what was that one on the airplane? Sandcac. <laughs> oh, I mean, what's the awkwardness of that employee coming out and saying, "Yeah, yeah. here's are, your food, ma'am." <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Are you look, you look like you're fine, but yeah. You know, here, here you go. Here's your. We we threw an extra sauce in there for you. <laughs> Some extra mild Here's sauce. an extra taco supreme. <laughs> we put some churros in there. Um, yes, that's what they do. Yeah. they do offer those desserts sometimes Here's if some they fuck up. Churros. <laughs> like, like everything looks to be okay. Like, yeah. you know, come again. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Come again. Here's. Can you click on this app and fill out a survey for us? <laughs> <laughs> How did we do? <laughs> Skip, skip survey or ta- yeah, yeah, skip. She's, she's just, just like skip, skip that one today. <laughs> skip survey, bitches. Like, yeah. Oh man, that oh, poor, poor lady. Shit. Okay, well, 
I don't mean we don't mean to make light, but yeah, and we kind of do sometimes. But man, Taco Bell, fine. You, you now know you're what? Hungry. Yeah, I, I don't think it'll stop me from going there. I don't go there a bunch because I try not to eat that bad. But when I do, I don't think that this story will prevent it because if two people get their car destroyed by a Taco Bell sign, then something's in, something's going on. Yeah. It happened, and that's over, and I don't think that's ever going to happen again. Right. <laughs> you know you what I mean? Hope. You would hope. You would hope. Lightning didn't strike trucks, right? Uh, tomorrow, uh, next episode, there will be a story about another oh, Taco no. Bell. Yeah. God, it's kind of like that. the orcas. We haven't heard much about the orcas no. recently. but Anyway, um, that that's a good... That <laughs> you like that? It's not funny, but it is. It, it, it's just one of those things that's just like, really? Like, what are the chances, right? But anyway. That is weird, you know. How do you? <laughs> I can't even imagine telling that story to your friends. You know, it's like really, and then you have pictures of it. And, oh. Or you haven't. You're having your car towed to the <laughs> to the place to get it. Is it totaled? I mean, it was. Totaled. Oh, that's gone. Yeah, it's totaled. So how'd your car get totaled? <laughs> well, Taco, Taco Bell sign fell. <laughs> Taco Bell. <laughs> Taco Bell uh, has some issues with their sign. Uh, anyway, but obviously, I mean, obviously, I I can't imagine they wouldn't. Their insurance wouldn't cover the car. Take care of that, right? Yeah, you would think so. Or, like you said earlier, they may go to the sign people and be like, "That's your." Yeah, I don't know how that works. I'm not in that industry. I, but I don't know if there's a sign person. I, I don't. I don't know how guy. that a sign. Um, <laughs> what if it's like poor, and a poor like mom and pop? Sign yeah, company. mom and pop sign company, and now they can't just, afford that. They're done. Yeah, they're done. You, you, you may sue them for about five thousand uh, dollars. But okay, good story. A good story. Good story. I like it. Um, so I was watching this video the other day, Ryan. Um, a video. I haven't heard it called a video in a while. Yeah. Um, uh, so I was alone in my apartment. <laughs> what kind of video is this? Laptop. Movie. Pulled up. Maybe a little. You know, I was relaxed. Um, I was watching this movie, and it was discussing <laughs> diversity, equality, and inclusion. <laughs> What? Yeah. It was a work video, sorry. Oh, there you go. Um, there we go. There we go. It was mandatory training and oh, stuff like this, yeah. The, the, these videos, dude. And and you it's know, that I, time of year. They make you do it like how many times? <clears throat> once what, a year. Once a year. Yeah. Jesus. And so I'm sitting there thinking, you know, I think we were talking about this before the show, you know, back in the eighties or seventies <laughs> or whatever, you know, they had the videos with the little <laughs> those, you say a little turtle. I would watch those now. Smoking a cigarette yeah, in the classroom, yeah, yeah. you know. Patting the chick on the butt yeah, as she goes her, by. Giving her a little slap as she walks by. You don't by. want to do this in yeah, the workplace yeah, yeah, and yeah, stuff like, like that. I like that skirt today. Yeah. Just a little smack on the Here, Marjorie, you know. <laughs> Marjorie. Sit on my lap real quick and let's discuss the <laughs> the reports. <laughs> Apparently that's frowned yeah. upon. Would you like to get a drink later, just the two of us? I mean. I did ask my HR lady, if you're allowed to pat somebody on the butt, as long as you say good game. Good game. She said no. Yeah, um, I thought that that might be her answer. So anyway, um, well then she's she's not going to get a, a good game from you. This particular video, Ryan, and I don't know why it ate into me a little bit. Um, I don't know if it. Well, let me let me stop. I, I have to watch them too. Oh, okay. And this one you're talking about was called it, that, right? Yeah, called di- diversity, diversity equality, and so inclusion. I had to watch it. Um, I taught for a, a uh, now university. They were a college, and they've, they've upgraded. I call it upgraded, but they've they've uh, congratulations to them. I won't I won't say their name, but they I worked for a now university and an online. Um, Asking a question. <clears throat> oh, okay. Just dumb question. What's the difference in a college? I, and a no, I need, don't ask me that because I don't I don't really know. Gotcha. And I'm Is it not like number idiot. of students? Is it's, that? It, I don't think it's number of courses students. Available? I believe it's the the prestige. I believe it's the um, the level of your diploma and degree is higher at a university okay. than a college. If you went to something college, and, and, and again. I'm admitting right now that I, I that could be completely and utterly wrong, and now you're going to make me look this up after the show, and we will have an answer for you next show. Well, you know we'll have somebody look it up for us and email us. Yeah, so. well, I'm going to look it up because it may be, maybe it's a student thing, a numbers thing like you just said. But gotcha. anyway, so I work for them, and, and they, they had the same shit, and I hate to say shit because it's important, you know, but, but the way that, that it's delivered, to at least if it's the same one that I had to watch, is... It's I, I laugh the whole time. Yeah, 
And then I and then I then I like argued with it. I was like, that's that's so stupid. Like, yeah. why would she get mad at that? He just said that she looked good. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, who cares? She should be flattered, right? Right. If someone came up to me and said, Ryan, you look good, I'm not going to be like, be like, I'm gonna sue your ass. Sexual yeah. harassment, bullshit. She'd anyway. say good game when she patted me on yeah. the butt. Yeah, you, you can just pat me. You don't even need to say good game. I'm more than a piece of meat. Pat me on the ass. So, go ahead, go ahead. You watched a specific one. So in this in this particular video, and, and I wish I wish maybe we had some more uh, another opinion in here, maybe Antoine to help us out. But um, I don't know if I'm allowed to be frustrated with this. But a lot of the scenarios that they went through, um, in every one of them, it was a mid 40s, early 50s white male that was always the antagonist. Right. Is that the right word? I'm trying to use big yeah. words for you. No, you you did it. That was a great. That was a good one. A great job. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> that well, depending on what you meant, but go ahead. That vocabulary yeah. toilet paper you got me has been great. <laughs> word of the day. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, uh, the very first one was a young Hispanic male that went into his role as. So far you as, you took notes. I took notes on this one because I, I like wanted it. to make sure I came in not making shit up. No, I like it. This so, is this well that adds credibility right. to to our nonsense. So it was a young Hispanic male that made reference to the fact that uh, they always made him do the digging as far as in his role. I did, they didn't specify what he's digging, but they were digging. It could have been lines. It could have been, you know, whatever their work is. It but was some sort of actual physical manual labor, manual labor digging com company. But then reference that they always let the white kid go get the parts for whatever the just ran and the got parts, parts ran yeah. and got parts for okay. the the project or whatever but he didn't do the actual dig right so and you know he even referenced as he was talking about it, and this is a quote-unquote real story um that i don't know if it was a racial thing or if i was just better at doing the digging than the other guy was but he threw in the fact that he was a white kid going to get parts i'm like but why would you even why would it come to that i don't understand what if he was better at digging? Like, so be it. Like, well, great. So you know, I mean, I can't imagine one one person versus the other going to get supplies ladders. Right. So I, and, and it's honestly, not, it's not like there's a there's going to be a black kid there, and they're like, you can't go get supplies because right. you need to go do something that black. People, it just that's so stupid. Anyway, go ahead. So the next one uh, was a handicapped woman, um, and basically it looked like kind of a, a warehouse type atmosphere and so it was a handicapped woman that came in she's in a electrical weird uh electrical wheelchair sorry i can't talk um and so basically she comes in the guy that she reaches out to talk to is you know late 40s early 50s white male right well, yeah and she's going over the processes of ordering parts and how she feels like it'd be more effective and he kept Again, the guy wasn't in the in the right, but he kept pointing out the fact that, well, trying to make her feel like she's being lazy just because she's in a wheelchair. She doesn't yeah. want to come down there because she's in a wheelchair. Well, she doesn't she, know what she's I talking mean, about because she's in a wheelchair. Well, that's all true. So, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Of course I'm kidding. It, just because she can't stand up for right. herself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, come on. Um, anyway, but the whole deal but was... you can't work at a manual labor company from a wheelchair. Right. <laughs> You can't have her out digging you the holes. Do the, but it, but in this in this scenario, you said it was a big warehouse, and, and yeah. she can most definitely go up and down those aisles, right? Like it's nothing. But it, I mean, they're they're making this guy come off like the jerk, right, Because sure. he's pushing back based on her. But handicap. he's mid forties, mid forties, thirties, forties, right? White guy. They made him the white. They made him the antagonist. Right. You know, and there happened to be a black gentleman behind listening to the whole thing, and you know, you know, of course, he's shaking his head like I can't right. believe he's saying yeah, this, this and blah this, blah blah. This white boy, you know. So that was another scenario. Um, another one, uh, same thing. It was a a, a young woman. Uh, I want to say she was a Middle Eastern descent, and she made reference to she was in a, a whole conference room full of forty year old white men. Right, and she said at some point, is the majority of this country, by the way. But go ahead. One of the guys turned to her and said, "Hey, can you go get me some water?" You know. <laughs> Okay. I mean, you're thirsty. You know, why not help somebody out? Um, but again, she was she was upset, of course, because she was the only young lady in there of color, and oh. in a group, a man or a room Were full there, of there other women. Uh, she didn't reference that. Okay, so, of course not. She leave out all those details. Um, my, I mean, I guess my question is, if she was the uh, sitting the furthest seat from the door, and he said, "Hey, can you go get me some water?" Maybe she's standing maybe, right next to the maybe water. Maybe you maybe you have an issue, but. If, there's a lot of context that we don't know, 
but th- this whole idea of, of it's it's like people are looking for it. Well, why is it always why is it always the forty year old white guy that's the racist? Why well, are we always the bad guy in every scenario? That, that's the, well, that's the point. I mean, w- how about what if this Indian woman, Indian or or you said um, a Middle, Middle Eastern, Eastern yeah, uh, uh, descent, same thing. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding, everybody. This this woman of Middle Eastern descent was sitting there, and she said, "Hey, Fred, go get me some fucking water." But that's okay. That's but okay. if Fred said, "Hey, uh, don't I'm not gonna try a Middle Eastern name." go get me some water fred is this racist asshole right or, or you know maybe she maybe she happened to be sitting next to the, the table full of bottled water <laughs> <laughs> would you mind throwing me a water she literally has a 12 pack of water right next to her on just the table. because i'm a female yeah. of middle eastern descent and then she looks over and there's a stack of bottled <laughs> waters right next to her we don't know well and, and in all fairness i i get it what i what i understand is that I, I make we make light and we say well if the roles are reversed and she asked Fred to go do it and I and I understand that there's a history there that everybody wants to like dwell in right that that, that you know white man is this and this and this and this and this but it's not going to do any good to look for it right they're looking for it well it's, and, it's and you're showing like, this video to the whole company sure why are we setting that stereotype up that every racial situation where there's an issue is always with the white 40 year old male why is that well you're right and and now that i'm glad you brought this up tonight because you know i I can't think of one and and i'll and now i'll look for it when i have to watch these stupid videos but i can't think of one where the you know maybe the black guy was kind of the the antagonist right and the white guy, poor white guy, except maybe when he's Jewish. But the, the, even the Jewish people don't claim to be white. They like claim to be Jewish. It's it's very strange. Well, even this last scenario I wrote down. Okay, you have uh, one more. Go ahead. And it was basically, hold on, what did I write down? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to read it for you? Sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, the last scenario, was, it was almost like they forced this 50 year old white guy in this scenario because it was a young asian um she coming off as the supervisor or the lead in this project however you want to say it the asian woman the asian woman well she's the lead that says some good things right right um and then there was a a young hispanic i say young in, in the video he looked like early 20s so both of them looked young right and then they've got this Again, late forties, early fifties, white guy, long white hair, you know, to his shoulders, nice suit on. Sounds like sixty or seventy, but go ahead. And she's she's going through the meeting and saying, "Okay, here's what we did with this project." She was talking about uh, building a website and okay. how she sent over pictures uh, for the website to this designer, blah blah blah. And and um, as she's going, to, this guy's on his phone and is like, "Well, you know, if you send the pictures over there and they crop it, the quality is." you know distorted or whatever the case may be is and uh, she's like well that's why i sent over the original and i cropped it the way we like it that way if they don't like the way we cropped it they can crop it their own blah 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 okay and he goes well and then he made another comment and so he was just kind of going back and forth with her he like kind of pe- like people in a business right but he he was kind of being a jerk but okay. again why why is he the- we've got two you know young professionals and then they had to throw the the white guy in there to be the bad guy so it's like, why does, I mean, anybody could have um, pushed back on her on any sure. of her ideas. Why does it always have to be the 40-year-old white guy? Well, and, and again, I don't think you and I have an issue with it being the 40-year-old white guy in this situation. What I have an issue with is that it's every situation. Every situation. I, li- so I, I think case, there was only maybe one good. or other, one or two other scenarios that it wasn't. But, I mean, it seemed like the, every scenario was a forty-year-old, literally, yeah. white guy. The, the, I mean, this guy with the long, the long white hair sounds like he might be a douche, but yeah. Well, <laughs> it, again, <laughs> but uh, and and the scenario where the handicapped woman, this guy was a douche. You know, right. he was a jerk, and right. so not not to say why can't any other race have been a jerk in that situation? Yeah, you know? um, right. Well, and that, and that happens with with so many. I mean. I've this one we've been talking about. I, I think I've seen the same. I mean, I think most companies use it. And then, of course, the '70s ones were. I thought 
they're funny now, but I mean, they had them back in way back for like sexual harassment mm-hmm. and for things where they would show students in high schools back in, I'm talking like the sixties and seventies. Yeah. They had these, these videos and it was just, I mean, they're again, I don't mean to laugh, but they were really, really bad, at, uh, poorly acted. If right. You will. Right. They didn't have a uh, Bradley Cooper or a, uh, you know, who are the actors we've given? Uh, Tom. Uh, uh, Jason Tom, Statham. Tom Hanks. Jason Statham. The Rock was an actor. Can you imagine The Rock in one of these videos? <laughs> hey, uh, hey, girl. He's in his suit. He's like the boss. You cannot throw hey. a woman over your shoulder like this and pat her on the ass. <laughs> he's got his suit on. Statham comes in and he's just like, hey, you look so fine today in that skirt. Like, But, uh, but you know, I've, I've seen them all and it's just kind of like, I don't know. It's almost like b- the way they do it and the and the direct the way it's directed. It makes it look more like a uh, like it's being forced. Right. I mean, it's like these. Th- it, this this. I don't think it really happens this way. Right. It happens, but you're making it. You're almost exaggerating it so that people can, you know, be aware. But but then at the same time. Should I not be offended though? Like if well, I walk into a room we're not and I looked at it as the one that's okay, well here comes a racist asshole. They right. Don't even know me. That that's the, that there you go. And that's the problem. And that's the problem with with especially with kids when they're shown these types of things, not exactly the same thing, but when they're shown these types of things growing up, all of a sudden the the stereotypes become reality. Right. And in this case you're walking in in your company, and and if somebody's just recently watched this film, I say film, whatever, you know, it, it it it's almost like it's assumed that you're you could be that guy, right? Whereas a guy, maybe a black guy your age, walks in in the same situation, and it's like, oh, he would never do that. When in reality, he may be the one that does it, right? So so that's the problem, right there. And I don't know if this you know helps. I don't know if it helps out, but anyway, I worked at a company when I was uh, right out of high school, and basically they put together mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. a couple years ago. Yeah, a few years back. Mm-hmm. Um, and their main their main uh, job was basically putting office cubicles and stuff like that together, putting the electrical in, this, that, and the other. So I was a young kid, and so on sites, I'm, I mean, I'm in there busting my ass, and they had one young lady sitting over on the side couldn't speak english hmm. just sorting uh hardware okay just on the side sorting hardware. so i'm i'm carrying panels and i'm carrying electrical stuff and i'm carrying this and we're putting these big cubicles together and hooking them together screwing them in blah 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 putting the desks in and she's over here sorting hardware okay and then after the site or after the job is done i'm the only one that has a driver's license Oh, so I'm having to drive the van of other workers <laughs> back to the office mm. to drop them back off. So, but now I'm the racist asshole in my 40s. You know, it's like, what the fuck? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I don't can't. Get it. I mean, there's nothing to say to that. It's exactly. It's a perfect example. So I, I it. I mean, it's similar to. I mean, we won't talk about it tonight. We'll get back into it. But it's similar to the movie talk where you, they're forcing. Uh, uh, different roles to be played by people are up in arms about oh yeah you know casting and, and not being cast the the character not being cast accurately to what they really are right and uh, and things like that and it's just kind of like it, it these videos but I think they've always kind of done that and that's and that's what's fr- that now that you're saying it and I'm I'm I'm, gonna, I'm not going to think about it too much on on the show because. I don't want people just to watch me go like this the whole time and thinking, but <laughs> but it's it, it 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 it's it's been that way for a while, and I think that if you look back, I'd be curious and I'd be willing to go look and maybe I don't know if YouTube has any any video old oh, old I can school, imagine. but you find some old ones where maybe you know what was it ever a time when. That you know, it, it, people always say, "Well, this country was so pro-white and this and that." Was there ever a time that these videos were, it was reversed, where all the bad, you know, the bad people, the antagonists of the of the uh, the scenes, were of color, were of color, or 
you know, some other situation where the white people were innocent. I, I need to look at that because I'll, I'll, I'll reserve judgment fully until I see that. But it, it, there's no excuse for now. I just don't like hypocrisy. And that seems what it is. It's just, it's just like we want to all be equal. It's time for us to move forward together. And, it, and this, is, this is anything but together. And why not right. switch the roles up as you go through that we'll video? Just you know, do a couple different ones. So. I mean, have one one white guy be an asshole, and then and then you know what? There are some black guys that are assholes. There are some uh, Middle Eastern women who probably are, can be bitches. And, right. And it just it just is everybody. Yeah. There's assholes in all colors, shapes, and sizes. Yes, that's for damn sure. And and anybody that wants to argue that, come at us. Because and, or don't fucking listen because that's the st- it's so stupid to think that. That, that a, a Middle Eastern woman couldn't couldn't possibly have an attitude right. or you know, that she couldn't get a fucking bottle of water that was right next to her or, right. or go even go to the jug. It's right there. We don't know. <laughs> but but in this case, I'm going to pretend that it's right there. <laughs> that would be funny. Like, if you look right next to her, she's got a <laughs> stack of all, bottle of water. All the waters are right there. And she's just like, why are you asking me to get it? And, she, yeah. and they, he just points and she's like, oh, oh, oh. There you go. But, in the, but anyway, so uh, the, that's that's an interesting topic, and I think we can we can um, you know something to talk about with guests. I think, like you said, having our boy Antoine on, uh, if he's still even listening to us, we need to get him on, get him back on soon, because I love his perspective. Uh, it's it's just so it's just it's different than ours, and so the things he agrees with us on, I love hearing because it's like all right, well, Gen Z and and us and and and, uh, and different co- different ethnicities and things like that, we can we can agree, but then the things that he disagrees with, we're able to learn from. Right. This is how this is how he's thinking. This is his mindset, and that's what I like. That's the whole point of our that's the whole point of our show. Yeah. And so I think something like this would be good for Antoine. So let's save that uh, before we go any further. What do you think? I like it. Yeah, I just wanted to bring it up because, yeah, for whatever reason, I don't well, know why. Why? It, and actually, I think I started noticing it after the fact, and I was just like, I was like, let me go back yeah. and watch this. Maybe, maybe I'm not remembering. And literally, every scenario was like forty year old white guy, forty year old white guy. I just want to know how they can't, how they think during production that these actors are. They just obviously don't care, but it's so bad. The acting is so bad. I mean, so it's almost hilarious. Well, and whoever you know edits this thing too, they're sitting there thinking, <laughs> "Yeah, why is the bad guy in every scenario a forty-year-old white guy?" Mm. You know, so I wasn't even talking about that anymore. I was just talking oh. about acting in general. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Just, it is kind of cheesy. Like, yeah. Hello, Margie. Uh, how are you? You look nice in that skirt today. Yeah, Bill. I Bill. I appreciate that, but I'm offended <laughs> that you would tell me I look I, nice in the skirt. <laughs> which do you, does it have? Are you are you are you doing the one that it gives you a choice? Like which scenario you yeah. you pick one? Yeah, and it shows you what should Marjorie should have feel done. offended? Yeah. because Bob said yeah. she looks good in a skirt. What what would it press it? It press this if Mar if Marjorie stands up for herself. Yeah. <laughs> And you hit it, and she's or like, "She's silent." She's like, "Bill, I do not think that that is appropriate because my skirt is uh, at my knees." And blah, yeah. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I look just as nice in pants, Bill. So, <laughs> and, and you see, Bill, he's like, oh. when he like turns away in shame. It's right. so. I don't know. I just, I just. Anyway, it's that's what that, the problem is. I laugh. I laugh at that, and I shouldn't laugh because uh, there are some situations out there that are serious. Yeah. But in these videos, come on, yeah. it, you can do better. But do better. How about that? Yeah. Do better. All right. Good topic. All right. Let's do um, um, our facts. Uh, crazy facts. Crazy. Are we going to do deaths? Or are we going to do facts? What are we doing tonight? I have some death ones. Let's do some death. I love crazy death. You like the death ones. I do. Let's do crazy deaths. So the first one is death by chocolate, which is scary because I love <laughs> sorry. chocolate. I just like threw my hands up. Yeah, chocolate. You, you I love do chocolate. love chocolate. So you are a. Uh, what's your favorite chocolate uh, bar or Snickers? Yeah, Snickers is legit. Snickers. Yeah, I can't argue there. So yeah, I love me some Snickers. Yeah. Um, so death by chocolate. It says the infamous Boston molasses disaster of 1919 saw molten sugar flowing through the streets in Massachusetts, okay. while causing 21 deaths. Right. Molten sugar flowing through streets of Massachusetts, causing 21 deaths. What the? You fuck? even heard of the molasses? Um, really? No, that sucks. It was that. In- well, you should read about it. Okay. Um, <laughs> but the case of no, that sucks. In this- 
that sounds horrible. Yeah. But, um, but the case well, of well, it wasn't delightful. It wasn't like that was they, they weren't enjoying their molasses yeah. during that time. It was it really filled the flood of the streets. In molasses slow though, like it doesn't matter. The reference slow. Of so molasses. is lava. Yeah. I think okay. isn't lava slow? Yeah, I think no. so. Anyway, but the case of Natalia Nimitz is a true life tale of Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. It says. Mm. Good, uh, good film. In October 2017, it says a 36-year-old mother was busy working in a candy factory in, of course, the Russian city of Ugh. Stary Oskol. <laughs> that, I think that was a exact Russian accent. Russian, uh, yeah. Russian. I've been working on it. So yeah. yeah, I think they would be like, "Wow, he's he might be a spy from yeah, yeah." No, so, so this is Russia, Russian city. Oh my of god! St- yeah, Stary Oskol. Stary Oskol. Sure. Okay. Noticing she was missing, her colleagues scrambled into action, searched for her, but soon made a chilling discovery. A chilling discovery. A chilling discovery. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. They found her legs poking out of a vat of molten caramel. Oh. So I'm not eating Snickers anymore. <laughs> it's caramel. It wasn't even chocolate. It says if that wasn't gruesome enough, the vat contained uh, whirring blades. Oh. Wiring blades. Oh, I don't know what that. I don't know what you're trying to say. I don't either. W h i r r i n g. Wiring. Well, it sounds like whirring, but whirring I don't. I don't know what the hell that is. To stir its contents. Okay. But did she jump? Was she pushed? Or did she slip? Oh. And then it says butterfingers. <laughs> <laughs> I like that writer. Look, oh, look, but that's the point. Like, was she? Did someone like push her in there? Right. Did, oh. did she? This is Russia. How you, so, how do you just? Yeah, it might, it might have been their government. Oh, government. So, so, yeah. So she she just fell into this shot uh, caramel and just. <sighs> but that wasn't chocolate. Chop chop. Oh, it was caramel. Yeah, that was. Uh, yeah. What a you misleading title. That. I was a, look. The whole story was fucked because it was caramel, it was not to chocolate. Be chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna write a letter. <laughs> but anyway, that's weird. We need to rewrite. Can you imagine walking in and seeing this chick's like feet hanging out of this machine? I'm still moving. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is delicious. <laughs> this uh, help. This but this is so delicious too. Like, oh my god. Okay, next. Made some good care. Yeah. Ne- anyway, ne- next one. <laughs> The next one is called Crock Pit. I can't believe you and I can make a joke about some woman dying, dying in a vat caramel. of caramel, but go ahead. Um, crock Pit said uh, there's crock, pr- crock Pot? Crock Pit. Crock Pit. Crock Pit. I don't know what that is. Like. There's perhaps only one thing scarier than the film Snakes on a Plane. I like that movie. You like that? Uh, yeah, I, I never saw it. Everyone thought it was so stupid. Yeah. But I liked it. Whatever. Wasn't Samuel. With, uh, Samuel? Oh, yeah. He took care of all those you snakes. Drop a few F bombs in that one, I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, maybe maybe um crocs on a plane is scarier it says i messed that one up uh anyway and we're not talking about the footwear though they are pretty uh terrifying i guess you're talking about that was supposed to be a joke but it's yeah. stupid maybe the way i read it i don't know in 2010 <laughs> no in the i don't think democratic republic of congo oh hey. well we're not supposed to Sorry, say anything we'll but move on but we are familiar with the Democratic Republic of Congo. Yeah. Yep. 20 crew and passengers died in a plane crash. 20 crew and passengers I combined. I laugh about this. No, I, anything, plane, anything plane crash freaks me out. But yeah. Go ahead. So, crew and passengers died in a plane crash when a crocodile being smuggled by a traveler. What? <laughs> freed itself from a sports bag. <laughs> Presume, presumably Lacoste. <laughs> no, is that what it says? That's fantastic. That was great. Okay, that joke made up for the other bullshit joke. So panicked passengers all ran towards the flight deck, and the tiny plane <laughs> became unbalanced and crashed. <laughs> Why are we laughing? Because there's an because there's a fucking alligator on the airplane. <laughs> One passenger, passenger, and the crocodile survived. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, the, croc- the crocodile survived. Can you imagine that plane? Boom. And all of a sudden you see this crocodile come out. <laughs> well, he just crawls out like bitch and yeah. like walks away. Fuck it's you. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You tried to take me. Uh, motherfuckers. The croc- and one passenger. One passenger and the crocodile. But what if the crocodile just is like, let's go. Dinner served. Yeah, dinner served. Let me finish all of them off. Oh, um, man. That was pretty funny. What was the that joke? That, that was really good. I like that one. The Lacoste bag. The Lacoste bag. Yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't joke because I still am terrified of flying in, in small little fucking planes. Yeah. Which reminds me, I'm going to go. I am worried about I'm, the puddle jumpers. I'll, I'll mention real fast. Um, we're very excited to announce that we are going to have a guest on the show next week. Oh, yeah? On the ne- <laughs> Is it your mom or mine? <laughs> no, the moms aren't going to come on yet. Well, I think we're going to wait for next Mother's Day 2024. Mother's Day. Okay. I think we're going to wait for them. But uh, um, we're going to have a guest on, and he happens to be a pilot. And, oh, and shit. And I have so many, so many questions uh, for him. Uh, and he's a pilot for a major airline, and he's kind of been up and down of, of the different sizes of planes and things like that. So he's going to be on, and he, he's got opinions about a lot of other stuff, too. And he, he also happens to be the, the gentleman that uh, picks his teams based on the uniform. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> and he happened to win the fucking and, and he won the uh, whole fantasy, fantasy fucking football yeah. last year. Yeah, and week Dumb one, ass. this week one this year, he got his ass kicked, and we were all, like, laughing. But week two, he's like, uh-uh, here I come. So... Anyway, it'll be great. To have, he's going to be a blast, and uh, we look forward to that. But that that plane, the plane thing, reminded me of that uh, he would be on the show. So that'll be the next uh, next show after this one. I cannot wait. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I cannot be good. Wait. Good time. He's he's a he's a character for sure. So um. So do you want one more? Yeah, I want one more real fast. Okay. Uh, last one is out and this out of the flying plant pan. Let me try that again. Yeah. The last one is out of the flying pan into the flyer. Did you mean frying pan? No. No. Flying pan. I said flying pan. (laughs) God damn it. Into the flyer. Look, I'm just making sure because we were talking about flying. Maybe it was in your head. Yes. Go ahead. The out of the flying pan into the flyer. Flyer. Got it. Okay. So in 2001, model plane enthusiast Roger Wallace was killed by a head-on collision with his own. (laughs) <laughs> with his own radio Wait. controlled plane no. uh. 60 year old Roger from Arizona god damn it, it um, you wanted him to be from, from, you, from well you Florida. wanted him to be from Florida yeah why don't you just start telling everybody these stories are <laughs> every story is well from so Florida. far they're in a different country so we yeah. kind of laugh about that but this one's in fucking America anyway from Arizona, Arizona lost sight of the 6.5 pound machine oh my so this guy okay I'm going to let you tell the rest, but I don't think you need to. The bottom line is this guy died from his remote control his error. Fucking- <laughs> God. Said he, he lost sight of his 6.5 pound machine as he was looking into the sun, oh. even though it had a wingspan of five feet. The plane oh. crashed into his chest at 40 miles oh, per hour. God, that must have not felt good. Ironically, it was a case out of the frying pan into the fire. Wallace had been drag racing cars at nearby drag strip when he spotted the model airplane enthusiast and asked if he could join them. Attracted to the idea because it was safer than drag racing. Okay. So I guess they're trying to make uh, yeah, fun yeah. of the fact he was drag racing and lived. Yeah, but yeah. Plays with model el- airplanes and fucking kills himself. Yeah, that... Yeah, there are, there are a lot of those uh, kind of ironic scenarios where you're you're you know a risk taker, and then something. You, you, what was the one there? Oh, there was one where he was like, he was like evil can evil, and he did all the stunts. Yeah, and then he got hit by a bus. <laughs> and we're laughing. Or he slipped getting out of the yeah, bathtub. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're la- <laughs> we're, I mean, we're, yeah, we're laughing, but it's just kind of like this guy just jumped over a canyon. Yeah and should have died percentages were probably pretty high that right. he should have died but then he slipped and hit his head on something you know yeah. it, 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 it he stepped off his bike and fell off the cliff <laughs> <laughs> he just cleared it and then he fell off <laughs> that's, that's, that, that kind of stuff happens a lot funny shit oh those are good those are um would you, were those you did three yes i uh, did yeah those are all good i liked all of them i'm gonna give you credit every one of those i liked we're pretty good to yes you know, I, this sounds really morbid, but we've got to find more funny, crazy deaths. Death's going to happen, people. Right. And, and it's inevitable. We might as well laugh at. <laughs> I was asking it. somebody today. I don't know. I don't know which one's worse. If there's a, a worse one or not, but which one can you imagine would be worse? Drowning, hmm. or being burnt? Burnt. Yeah. I, yeah. This is the common. This is a common question, and I. I'm back and forth, I'll admit it, because the idea of drowning and knowing that I'm drowning, 
it terrifies me because yeah. I'm. It's kind of like this idea of being in a, a confined space and you just can't breathe. Well, the anxiety has got to be horrible. But well, at that point, I'm not thinking about anxiety. I'm thinking about I'm, I'm dying. You're if done. I know that I'm done, if you don't I, feel. If like, I know you, that you I'm don't done. think you would come to a peace and be. Well, I don't know. I haven't. I've, I've never experienced Let's not find it. That out, yeah. I haven't experienced. You it. haven't found that but, out yet. <laughs> but <laughs> but <laughs> once you find out, let me know. But I can see. I think I can see how, and that's that's. And I'm glad you said that because that's the reason I go back, and and I think that maybe being burnt is worse because there's no peace there. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've been told, like you know, the people that do the branding. Have you heard? Have you seen that? So they get a brand. Well, you know I mean, how they brand well, animals? Yeah. Well, they say that when you get a brand on your skin, that it burns so bad that ultimately your skin is it, it goes numb. Yeah. So at some point you don't feel it. Right. Um, I have never tried it. Yeah. I, I've not, thought about it, but I've never tried it. So I, I'm not. I don't really want to see if my my body goes numb uh, burning. But yeah, I can't but, imagine it being fun. But can you? I mean, I. I'll accidentally hit my uh, uh, like pinky finger on the stove when yes. it's on, and that thing hurts for two fucking days. And I'm going, can you imagine your whole body being burned? Right. Um, and you, you know, you had the the steak, the witches at the stake, and people being burnt alive, and it just seems absolutely awful. And so I don't. There's no. I don't think there's a way to get peace there. But like you said, under the water, if you're going, okay, this is how it's going to be, and you just kind of. I don't know. Yeah, we don't know. I mean, that's the point. I mean, you see it, it, it. You see it in film and in writing and things like that. You know. I mean, I just hate water going to my nose. So it's like uh, <laughs> being not able you're, to. You're like literally dying. You're like, oh, that that, that, that water. Yeah, that water got the, up my nose. The salt water. You know, yeah. it's just like, oh, it tastes horrible. Yeah, you know? it's really bad. I wish I could die with fresh water. Fresh water. <laughs> I wish I was in a in lake. A fresh water lake. Not in the ocean. Uh, that one was good. Okay, um, let's do self awareness real fast. Uh, you know, this one was this one was kind of like boosted by uh, the same gentleman that ri- writes our song, blah blah blah, whatever. Uh, what, what, what were we, we were going to call him something like uh, uh, something asshole? <laughs> we well, just go with asshole. We were going to call C A. It was uh, 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 I remember it was on a, one of our episodes. We were going to call him something anyway because I went. I said anyway. <laughs> who, 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 anyway, who gives a shit? Anyway, he, he's the guy that wrote the song, and we and we, uh, but he's very close with us. And he kind of he kind of pushed this on me, and 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 now that he's shown me or kind of made me aware of it, okay, I, it's all over now. And I can't I can't get get rid of it. And it's another car thing. <clears throat> and you're driving, and you you drive by, and it, and look, I think these days any car, I think okay, if it's like a 1980. For some Centra and it's and it's all beat to hell or whatever. I get it. Then you can you are excused. Okay. But if you're in a if you're in like a brand new Mercedes, all right, or a Lexus or a whatever or a Porsche or a Range Rover, any or even some of these new luxury for, vehicles, for, or, or no, not even not even that for Explorers or 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 newer vehicles. How about okay. that? Anything in the last like five to ten years, okay. I would say anything and you drive by and so today this happened and it reminded me of it you drive by and you look and, and you know this bitch is in, in half in my lane and half in her lane and you drive by and she's literally holding her phone against her ear okay. talking <laughs> <laughs> these cars have hand free phone fun- like it's just it's yeah. it's beyond me that these people don't understand that you that First off, it's dangerous to hold your to, to, to be on a call with the holding the phone because that takes away one of your two hands. But who doesn't have hands free dialing anymore? I don't get it. Am, it right? Especially if you're that guy from Lowe's, you know. <laughs> which what, 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 oh oh your your <laughs> oh your guy stay from, with me your guy stay from Lowe's. I thought you meant my guy from Lowe's. No, you're the one without the arm. Look. He definitely shouldn't be on the cell phone without hands-free dialing. But it's just kind of like you walk, you you drive by, and you're going, you're in this beautiful Lexus. Like, guess what? Just 
take two seconds to program the damn thing. Bluetooth it. and blue. Yeah, I mean, right? I, although I, I've kind am of been, I, am I? Are we no, wrong? Not okay. absolutely wrong. And unfortunately, I've I've been that guy before because I've been told it's hard to hear through my the Bluetooth on my truck. And I mean, it's a 2018. It's not that old, right? No. The, whoever tells you that's full of shit. So I've been told it's hard <laughs> to hear. So and and sometimes so I'm fired up. And honestly, I and maybe it's my old age but sometimes i find it hard to hear that person on through my bluetooth so i'm like instead of saying what was that again do you think it's the bluetooth or do you think it's just like where you are or the volume yeah, of the volume yeah. of the phone or yeah or that's a very maybe it's the fact that you are on android oh, oh i did it you're just mad I, was it a green dot you're just mad about the green dot. i'm still mad about the green I need to upgrade my phone. I may go. I may go iPhone. Would I may you? try. Would you? Yeah, I cracked my damn screen. So, I may oh, so. this is an opportunity for you, yeah. Trey. And I've had this phone for. I'm going to put this on. This is going to be our our uh, uh, our poll. Oh, I'm going to put a poll up on all poll. of our social. Yeah, I'm, okay. we, after that, I'll put up an, uh, a poll P O L L on whether you now now that you've cracked your screen, yeah, should go and switch to iPhone. Okay. We'll see what the listeners say. How amazing would that be for for us to finally have a blue... <laughs> blue dot in our group chat? Oh, a blue conversation uh, instead of green. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm it, happy that if, if makes you, you so if excited. You've still, if, you've still, uh, if you're still with us... <laughs> I hope you're ex as excited as we are. Um, we all, all our Android... By the way, we're literally about 50-50 Android and iPhone according to spotify really interesting that is so, surprising android people take it easy i just happen to be an iphone guy and i and i like blue versus green gotcha that's it uh you guys do your thing and we love you right sure we love the android yeah and your iphone and uh hey women you're you're starting to uh slack a little bit uh oh we've we've gone down i think they're about 68 percent now oh well, only from seventy four. That's not or seventy six. Big, big drop. The eight percent drop. But maybe it's because the boys are coming on, <laughs> saying, "Hey, hey, these are our these are our, our guys." Boys. Yeah, we're listening. So uh, either way, I don't care. I don't care what you are. <laughs> just, just just listen. listen. Yeah. Identify as a listener. How about that? There you go. Have you? Uh, do you have another? Do you have a self awareness? I do. You, oh, oh, I do. Please. So. This came up in the urinal. I saw you staring at me. I was like, he must have a self awareness. Yeah, I've got one. Um, <laughs> Wait, hold on. This came up in a urinal? <laughs> Urinals. Urinals. So, rule of thumb if you walk in and the bathroom's empty, there's three urinals there. Three urinals. How many stalls? Fuck the stalls. There's well, three I'm, fucking I'm just urinals. trying to get a, 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 a size. A, a, Three urinals, three stalls. Okay, there you go. You're going was, to pee. Was that very hard? You're going to pee. That wasn't Which that hard. urinal are you supposed to use? Nobody's there, just you. Nobody's there. Which one are you supposed to use? I would to use to? one of the side ones. Okay. So that You're I wouldn't. You're not going get... right down the fucking middle, right? Well, no, because I wouldn't want two people to come in and okay. stand next to me and look at my big hog. So the awareness <laughs> is you use one of the other ones. So if another gentleman comes in, they have the ability to go one urinal over from you, a little urinal in between each other, right? Sure. Okay. I mean, that that would be my mindset. So, I mean, if there's four urinals in there, okay, and you're not in the far right one or far left one, you're maybe offset middle one, and another gentleman comes in, where the fuck is he supposed to go? He's supposed to go That's true. one over, right? Just have some space. If you're in, in the middle. Yeah. Of four. Four. And you're you still in, have. You're, you're in one of the middle two. Yeah. You still have the ability to pick one you with have, a urinal in between sure. you, right? Sure. So why are these assholes picking a urinal right next to you? Mm. I mean, there's 20 urinals in this there. This reminds me of, what did you do that was something very similar where it was kind of like, why why next to each other? Why, um, yeah, I forget what, what it was, but it was, it was very similar. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Just look, I'm with Just you. Put some space in there. <laughs> I'm with you. I don't need anybody uh, taking a peek. And I don't, I don't, I don't. It, it, it all of a sudden it goes from being a relaxing uh, uh, pee right to this like tension where you're like okay th who, who the fuck is this guy and I tell you what I was real nervous um, a little self conscious I probably not nervous but more <laughs> self conscious it's hard to go to don't do that to yourself it's hard to go to a rap concert and go in there and 
go in the urinals and <laughs> oh my god proudly pee um, you shouldn't say that because you were at snoop that's like yeah that's majority white <laughs> oh that's true <laughs> but what's even worse is i'm bad about wearing sandals oh god yeah well so we, we all wear Look, we're in Texas. It's a hundred and million degrees. We're gonna wear sandals. So, uh, do you feel the splat? Are you feeling you the feel splatter? The splash. Oh, God. You don't know if it's your splatter or yeah. a neighbor's splatter, but yeah, Yeesh. a neighbor. Yeah, <laughs> that's. Let me ask you, what do you do? You walk into the bathroom. You're wearing tennis shoes. Okay. I don't wear a lot of tennis. Go ahead. You're wearing dress shoes. Okay. Are you wearing dress shoes? I did. Yeah. Okay. Last night. You're wearing dress shoes. You go in. Use the restroom. Go wash your hands. You look down. Your shoes untied. Do you burn those shoelaces? You get rid of them. Do you want? Mm. Oh, mm, that's a good question. Yeah. Uh, I've I've never ever in my uh, years of existence thought of that. Thank you. <laughs> because you never notice your well your shoelaces but I've never being undone th- in the no. Bathroom. I've never thought because they're never undone. I tie them uh, the tie right appropriately. Way. You're that's older right. than three. That's right. And a half. <laughs> that's right. Three and three quarters. I don't. I don't. I'm, I really have never walked out of there going, "Oh, my shoes untied." Ooh, I've never done that before, and now I'm going to every time yeah, probably because you just said that. Thank yeah. you. Uh, no, what do you do? I mean, you don't. You tie them. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you, you walk, tie them in the washer hand. Yeah. Have you ever had that issue where the your belt hits the urinal? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I don't. I don't undo my belt. What are you undo, for? <laughs> undo my belt. Well, how are you supposed to get your pants down to your ankles if you don't undo your belt? <laughs> I usually only need a zipper to be undone, but you know, I mean, some people need to undo their whole pants. And, I, I undo my uh, whole pants. I can't fight through the zipper and then the little hole in what, the underwear and then the. What's really bad, and then we'll we'll end on this. Is this visual I have of? walking into a restroom nobody else in there but you <laughs> bare ass <laughs> with your pants around your ankles oh, your pants around your ankles taking a leak and you're just like hey guys hey everybody <laughs> and that would be it that's be that's, that's how we're gonna you walk right back out or do you use the restroom with well, your head I mean, down it depends on how badly i had to pee but but um uh, no, I'd use it. I'd, I'd go ahead and use the restroom. Use it. I wouldn't high five you, but I would. I would. Uh, I'd use the restroom. Would you pat me on the butt. Say good game. Yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, everyone. My goodness. Uh, yeah, we went on. We went on and on and on and on. So I'm going to end on that note, like without even any question. Uh, we love you, uh, YouTube, Spotify, uh, X, whatever the fuck it is these days. Twitter. Watch us there. Listen wherever you want, but we're on all of it. Just listen. Go listen. Check us out. Subscribe. Comment. Comment. Subscribe. Blah, 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 blah. We're still, um, we've got plenty of merchandise. I, I hate saying this stuff, but, you know. I saw you put a little deal on, was it Facebook, uh, for some comments for a couple t-shirts. Yeah, yeah. And I and I got some, and we'll send those out. And Sweet. Everything's good. So, uh, but, but we'll... Um, but but that's the kind of stuff that we need. I mean, we're we're trying to just uh, get everybody involved, and uh, I think we're pretty likable. Yeah, my mom's still waiting on her shirt for getting the fan badge oh, on that's Facebook. Right. She's pretty. Excited she got that about badge. That. Yeah, yeah. My mom, my mom got a t-shirt. How do you? How did I get your mom? I don't know. Okay, well let's sure. We'll get you. <laughs> we'll get your mom a t-shirt. You don't like Look, my mom? I love your mom, but I wanted to end on the visual of you peeing. <laughs> oh, okay. We'll go back to me peeing. With your bare ass and your pants around your ankles. I By like the way, that. probably with a bunch of other urine on it. Oh, on oh that. I didn't think about yeah, that. Yeah, right? Oh. So would it be funnier if you held them around your knee? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> just around your knees. Because you had to... S- yeah. You s- <laughs> and then you're like, yeah. And you're trying to pee that way. <laughs> <laughs> no, that shit. is the visual. That's that, a visual. That's what we're ending with. Love you, buddy. We'll see you next show. Later. Later. <laughs> <laughs>
Wouldn't that have sucked if that lady also got food poisoning from the food at Taco Bell? <laughs> <laughs> and, there, and, and there wasn't enough meat. Oh, shit. 